Hello, welcome to this video. Now today we're back down at Ticton. Now the last time I was down here was on the 6th of November and it, the river was still high coming up the banks. Since then in places it has topped over a couple of places like just over there. At the other side of here there's a dike that's full. Fields are not over there that's full. Now as I say I came down here on the 6th of November did a video which a few videos you can see on YouTube and in them eight nine weeks the river has hardly changed at all. To say it's tidal it's hardly gone down it has lifted higher than where it was at the time of me last coming down here but now we're going to go for a walk up that way we're going to take the drone with us send that up and see what footage we can get out of that so let's go do some flying as you can see the river is still high and the tide is actually dropping down now our tide this morning was 20 past 8 but with this wind I don't know if I'm going to be able to send the drone up it might be too windy down here because we're opened up so unless we walk a bit further up and get shelter from the trees but last time I was down here just down here there was just a little stream um, obviously there's a, a bit more than a stream now but we'll have a wander over that way and see what we see over there and see if we can get any tr shelter from them trees I don't know if you can see it, just uh, up in that tree, you just see a buzzard. Anyway, it's just taking off now. But I don't want to be sending my drone up where he is, or she, because I'm liable to attack it. Well, it's a bit too windy for the drone because every time I go to fire the drone up the wind picks up so let's see what happens anyway it's only going to blow it back take off home point updated Just keep you away from the water because I'm not struck on it being near the water I just haven't got that much confidence in it yet so let's record and see see if we can get any footage as I don't know if you can see on the camera like you can see it blowing around see what happens when it goes up It's not too windy at the moment up there. But I've just got a strong wind warning up now. So we just bring it down a bit. We might be able to get away with it. But as you can see, over in the distance, the fields and that, that's um, flooded over there and then there's fields around the back of us here 
that's flooded just over there we can see just angle it down a bit and then let's see if we can bring it back down let's see if we can bring it in towards the camera Yeah, uh, we'll go go sidewards. Forwards. Yeah, wind's blowing it about a bit. <laughs> see the wind blowing it so take it up a bit turn it round Bastard. Crash one. Well, that's crash one. And it seems like I put a strain on one of the motors. So But it looks all intact still. But my own stupidity. I uh, I knew I shouldn't have flown it in that wind. But live and learn, don't you? I just don't know which bag's which now. Oh well, that one will go in that one. So, looks like that brought it to the end of the video. And a bit disappointing, but things happen. So that's that all done. All packed away. Right, there we are now. It chopped my head off. And uh, pity. So, let's go home now. And then uh, we'll assess the damage. See what it says. Right. All you can do is laugh. It might be an expensive laugh, but a laugh. No, it's not. Trust me, it's not. So, okay. See you in the next one. Till then, stay safe. Bye for now. Best not leave them on the little fence, are they?
bastard. Crash one. <laughs>